very good afternoon to all of you uh, in this session i'm going to cover about the local storage options of your uh, android in android we have some storage options so uh, that is exactly uh, we can say that is the data storage options we have in android now using these options we can store some data into database we can read some data from the database and if we want to create uh, store some data into file or if we want to create some file and store that file into some um, sd card or internal memory of your device so in using this uh, data storage we can do this kind of things now the storage options in uh, android we have that is shared preferences creation and storage of arbitrary file type means uh, you can create some file and on that file you can store some strings or text and sqlite relational database android exactly support this sqlite uh, internal support this sqlite database and will store into your device now android uh, provide a several option for you to save persistent application data so when i'm talking about persistent application data in the sense is there is um, uh, you are saving your data in your devices using the shared preferences uh, uh, internal external memory of after for create uh, or with the help of file and you can use the sqlite database to store some information now storage option now uh, suppose uh, you want to store some information uh, so you have to decide what what kind of uh, storage you required depends on your your need the solution you have to find solution in the sense is like suppose your data you want to uh, you don't want to share your data then you can use this uh, sqlite database to store that data okay if you want to share some data then you can uh, share your uh, external and internal storage to uh, access that data from or save that data into external storage uh, internal storage okay so you have to take care of these three things data should be private to your application then accessible to other application this accessible to other application in the sense is you are accessing internal memory as well as or uh, external memory then the how much space the your data is required based on if suppose your data size is uh, 2 3 mb or 30 30 40 mb then then suppose if your data size is 30 2 3 mb then you can use internal storage if your uh, the data size is suppose uh, 30 40 mb then you can use your external storage now we'll start with the very first uh, storage option that is shared preferences basically shared preferences is uh, use when we require to, uh, to save some persistent data each preference in this each preference has a key and value pair the key means your strings and individual means uh, the value is what is your any kind of value you can use the boolean long float int that kind of uh, value you can use in this shared preferences i'm repeating this because this is very important this each preference is a simple key and value pair your key is your string and a value could be anything boolean long int float now shared preferences uh, here the manager is through uh, we can use this shared preferences via java code or we can use with the special activity preference activity so that that is your xml now after that you are stored encrypted you have to like store uh, whatever the value you are going to store that is in a form of unencrypted on your disk then how we can create uh, preferences in java so uh, shared preferences class represents set of preferences so uh, those preferences we have to instantiate with a mode that is private mode there are lots of mode you can use such as you can use you see here the mode world uh, writable but sharing preferences between is uh, but the like we can share our preferences the preference data with the your uh, activity activity to activity okay 
but if you want to share that data with application to appli application it is not possible in this using preferences. So, for creating preferences in Java this is you can uh, use preferences for current activity. So, you can write this way the private share preferences then they have to create the object of that then is equal to get preferences context dot mode private. Then another way you can use that is the name set of your preferences here you, you will set the name of your preference for that private shared preferences then the object is equal to your get shared preferences then you have to write a preference name then your mode that is private mode. Using this you can create your preference. Now, here when I am using preferences so we have to create preference activity. So, preference activity defines and write value on the disk automatically. Then value can be your uh, string boolean or list of string as we uh, told you in the very first slide our preferences has a key or pair value. So, here I am talking about value that is it could be in string boolean int long in any data type. Now, defining in a layout XML you can also define your preferences in XML that is your preference uh, you can say that preference ex, uh, dot XML. Next is that is navigate to preference activity with an intent object you can navigate your preferences using intent. Now, we will see one uh, simple application based on share preferences. So, this, this is my app of a shared uh, Android shared preference. So, you can see that here I have created one layout that is main dot XML inside that layout I have used some I have used some uh, text views edit text buttons ok. So, here uh, for the share preferences I have used one uh, two edit text ok. This first edit text is for the MEM 1 ok. In this we are going to uh, save first preference and this is the for the second. And then there is two edit text whatever the value if I uh, am going to write here it will display in this text views. So, if I am writing uh, here in first edit text it will display here and whatever the value if I am writing here it will display in this text view after clicking these two buttons that is first button name is save MEM 1 and next is save MEM 2. So, now first uh, to uh, Use, uh, if uh, we want to perform this logic using uh, shared preferences then we have to create Java file and we have to access first we have to access this widgets. So, we will go to that Java file you can see here I have created two edit text object ok and two text view objects and same here for the button also I have created two object for the button and after that using this find view by id I am accessing those text views edit text and button ok via their ids. Then I have to perform some uh, I want to generate some event or I have to perform some uh, event while uh, via this button. So, I have to set the on click listener method to this button ok. After that I am loading that preference when I am clicking on button suppose I am clicking button 1 that is button save MEM 1 then it will execute this body. And this body what I am doing I am just creating the string of your name of your preference and I am getting the text of your edit text 
and then after using this save preference method, I am calling this method here and I am storing that value into key and value pair and after that I am committing that editor and then after that I am calling the load preferences. Inside the load preferences I am copying those the key value uh, into your strings. So, you can see here inside the MEM1 and MEM2 I have stored those value in MEM1 I am getting the text of edit text 1 and then I am calling this load preferences. So, MEM whatever the value is in your MEM1 it will store in your string and then to your, your uh, after storing that value into string I am displaying the, those values into the text view by, uh, by using text uh, set text. Okay. Same operation we can perform for the button 2. Okay. I have also uh, uh, used this set on click listener for button, uh, button save MEM2 and then it will directly call here. Then it will take that the value, it will take the edit the value of edit text 2 okay. and I am calling save preferences and again I am uh, storing that value uh, those values into key value pair and then I am calling the load preferences. This load pre again, again this load preferences will take that value into string and after that is string 2 I am setting second value into text view 2. So, now we will see uh, we will run this operation uh, the, uh, this application and we will see the output. This is Android shared preference editor. So, suppose here I am writing hello and here I am writing students. When I am clicking on save MEM1, it will display here. When I am clicking save MEM2, it will display here. Then go back. Again, if I am clicking on that shared preferences, this is my application, I will get that value there. So, when I am entering next time, hello teachers. And I am click on this hello will display here and, and teachers will display here. Now, to uh, delete the value of your text view 1, text view 2 or if you want to erase that value from the shared preferences, then you have to follow the steps. You just hold this and go to the app info. And after that, just click on clear data. Okay. Go to that application, again run that application. Now, you can see your data is cleared from your text views, means from your preferences. Okay. This is the way you can use a shared preferences by Java. Now, we will move to another application that is your intern uh, file storage. So, your file storage is what? First here you are going to create some file and you are going to store that value into the uh, onto that particular file. For creating file you have to uh, uh, keep two thing, uh, keep in mind two, uh, two things. First you have to give the uh, your extension name 
and the name of the file and the extension of the file. So, here file can be created and read on a persistent media. So, we can create one file and we can store that file into your internal or external storage and we can read that file from those internal or external storage. And then and what kind of file we can create here? We can create a, a we can read a image file or a txt file, xml file. This kind of file we can read from the internal or external memory. Okay. Then file can be designate for internal or external storage. Okay, means it is local to your app. Your app application can be access your files from your from the internal or external storage. That internal first, what is that internal storage? The Android can save file directly in to the device that is internal storage. Then if your file, if you are saving your file into your device only, then it will be your inter you are saving your file into your internal storage. This file are private to the application and will be removed if uninstall the application. Suppose, if you have installed uh, your application to your device and after that you are uh, uninstalling your application that, so that particular file will be deleted from your device. We can create now how we, uh, we can create a file using open file output with the parameter and file name and the operating mode. Again here we have to give the operating mode for your file. It should be private or readable for the world okay, as we have used in shared preferences. Then, if we want to open our file, at that time we can use open file input, passing the parameter as the file name. One thing that we need to uh, remember is give to extension of the file. As I said about, you have to give the uh, uh, extension of your file name. It is optional. If you want to give, you can give. Otherwise, it will by default it will take as a text file. Now we'll see some. Uh, simple example based on internal storage example. So, here I have created one internal storage application, we will see this application. So, first we will go to the layout, there in layout there is a main file main dot xml. Now, again here I have used two text box, edit text and two text views and one button. When I am here, you can see I have used here enter file name. So, here in this text box I am going to enter name of your file and enter content. Here I am going to enter the content of your file and when I am clicking save button, it will save into your internal memory with the file name and your content. Okay. So, and first for that again to uh, perform this logic, we have to write a code Java code. So, first we have to access dot edit text and button. So, here I have created two objects for the edit text and one object for the button. Here I have accessed using find view by id and the file name using the file name id of the first edit text and then I have accessed again second one that is find view by id and the file name of your second edit text. And same for the button I have accessed using find view by id and the id of your button. Then I am giving the set on click listener to the button because I want to uh, save that uh, file and your the uh, content of your file. Then, when I am clicking on that button, so this particular operation will perform. First, I am getting the text of edit text into this string, this file name string and another into your content. So, I am taking the value of this two, get the value of two edit text into these two strings. And after that, I am creating file output stream. Then, 
after that I am opening that file output the we can enter is the file name and the context we have to give the mode of our uh, file that is mode is private or readable for the world. And then we have to write using this method I am writing the content of uh, content into your file and I am closing that file. If everything is proper then we will get the message the file name whatever the file name we are going to give that file name saved this message message we will get ok otherwise will it will throw the exceptions. Now we will see uh, that hub first we will run that application and we will see the output go to your application internal storage android application you can see this is my uh, output. So, here first we have to enter the file name I am entering uh, hello dot txt and I am writing the content. Good afternoon and I am saving this content and file name into your internal storage space. I am sorry. So, when I am clicking this we will get the message hello dot txt saved. Now, our file is saved or not for that we have to go to that uh, we have to go to the DDMS and from there we have to check that file. So, this DDMS will show the our emulator. So, we will go to that DDMS inside the DDMS we have to go to data inside the data we have a, we have to go to again data folder then the package of our application. So, what is our package com dot exercise android internal storage com dot. So, we will go there com dot exercise here is that com dot android internal storage open that you can see here there is a file folder open this file folder you can see here I have created the hello dot txt. So, if you want to see this content of hello dot txt just select this here there is a push file sorry pull file. So, we can pull this file from device to our system click on this save into your uh, desktop. and check that actually this is not it is not pulling from the uh, your DDMS, but you can see that here the hello text uh, txt file is created and inside that we will get that uh, output that uh, So, what let us again create one file hello then Nilesh save this hello saved and go to that you can see here hello file is there pull this into I am pulling this any folder new folder. fail the pull selections. So, actually it is not pulling from your device, but you can see here I have created that uh, file 
and surely we will get that the that uh, string that I have entered in this amnilage will get that file. So, this process you can follow and you can open your file. Okay. So, uh, we will move to another storage option. So, my another storage option is external storage, external storage in the sense you have SD card. Okay. So, uh, every android compatible device supports shared external storage that you can use to save files. Okay, this external storage you can uh, use to save text file, PDF, okay, media, any kind of file you can save in this external storage. I mean, normally in uh, all each uh, smartphones will get this options for the sharing, uh, inserting that SD card for the external memory. Okay, and this can be remo uh, removable storage media. You know that SD card is uh, obviously is a removable media you can insert, you can insert and re when you require then you can uh, insert, if you do not require then you can remove from your mobile phones or tablet. Then files saved to the external storage are world readable and can be modified by the user when they enable USB mass storage to transfer file on your on a computer. So, uh, you can see whenever you are uh, using SD card the value the, the content of your SD card the whatever the you have stored in your SD card anyone can access that using your phone, um, uh, tablet or mobile phone or you can use also with the uh, some card reader. Now, we will see the external storage example. You have created one external storage uh, application. Inside the RES, I have a layout. I am just opening that layout folder. You can here you can see I have used one image view widget to uh, display the images and I have accessed this image view from your Java file. It is very simple, there are two three line of code to display the image. You can see here only three line of code we can display image. So, this I am first I am accessing that find view by ID. I am accessing this uh, image view using the find view by ID with your image ID. Then I am using bitmap class and inside that bitmap class I am displaying that I am giving the path of your image where you have stored. Okay. So, now you have to check that this path. Okay. If you are uh, using a device, uh, if you are using an Akash tablet. So, inside that uh, the uh, path is your MNT, EXT, SD and the whatever your file name. So, here my file name is error 1 dot jpeg. So, and when you are using this emulator, so I can show the path of your emulator that is go to db, db, ddms and then you have to go to mnt then sd card. Okay. So, here your uh, external storage name is the sd card. Okay, some of the same path you will get in some of the devices, okay, but in Akash tablet you have to use MNT EXT SD. Okay. So, I will run this application and I will show how, how we will get that output in Akash tablet. So, first I have to copy one image that is this image into my EXT Akash tablet and then I will uh, run that application image EXT image image SD card. Okay, so, first we have to run this. So, here you can see there is no image because um, I have given the path of our my Akash tablet SD card or here I have a path of that is EM, uh, MNT SD card, but in Akash we are using MNT EXT SD. So, I have given the Akash path, so it will, will not get any um, image here. So, here the SQLite is uh, database, it will uh, in your Android this is exactly the by default database we can use and it is a structured data, uh, structured data can be uh, saved into your SQLite database 
Android provide built in support in this, all classes and interfaces are in your, uh, if you want to, ex using, if you are using this SQLite then you have to use this android.database.sqlite package. This package you have to give by default when you are using SQLite database. Okay. Now, uh, but there, there is a some, uh, it, it is a very light database, so it cannot hold the uh, maximum size of your data. So, we will see the simple example based on your SQLite. So, inside the SQLite database, uh, database file are local to the app, whatever if you are creating any database, it will local to your app. If you uninstall your data, uh, application, it will uninstall, it will remove from your device to share structured data with the other apps, you have to use content provider, custom content provider okay, to share your data to the other apps. Now, we will see the simple example based on SQLite database. Here is a database sample, I have one application. Then first we will see the layout of our, this application. So, this is our main layout. I have created here three layout. One layout for the checking data means retrieving data and displaying and another is to store that data into a database. This is my first main layout when I am clicking, if I want to save data. So, I will click in this button to save and suppose I want to check data. So, I'll, I can click this check data button. In check data, you can you see that there are some text that is name, telephone, Skype ID addresses means these are the field I have in my database. I have created that those fields into my database and I am displaying the data from the database to using this list view. Okay. This is for your uh, check data, this is in this you can get your retrieve, you can retrieve your data in this layout. To save data, here you can see I have used four edit text for the four fields and one button to save that. If I am clicking on back, it will directly jump into your main.xml. So, now we will access this database, how we can access sorry, how we can access this, the widgets of our this layouts. For that I have created four files, for one for one dot uh, check dot uh, data dot java is used to check data from your uh, database, to retrieve data from your database and this file is to save data to your database and this data manipulator will handle the check data and the save data operations and this is the main, your main activity. So, first we will see this main activity. Here you can see, I have access first two button that is your save button and check button. I have access this two button and this, you can see for uh, access by find by id and I have used, a, I have set the on, set on click listener to those buttons. Okay. And then when I am clicking, clicking on button 1, so the one intent will fire and it will show you the save data class. So, save data class is your, this is, this file will invoke and after the what, this what, this file is doing, this file is going to save the data. Again in this file, this file is directly accessing your save dot xml file and using that and what are the widget you have used in your save dot xml file, you will access by using, uh, you, you have access by using find me by id on this. And after there is a two button, one is for home, if you, if you there is a back button, if you are clicking on back button, it will directly jump onto your home and then if you are clicking on save button, then it will save that your information. Before saving, it will ask you for the next, if you want, for if you save one one information, then it will, uh, and after that you will uh, click on save button, then it will ask you save 
uh, if you want to save next information, so you can directly save there. Okay, we'll see that how uh, that particular dialogues is implemented. Now you can see here when I'm clicking button zero, that is home. So uh, it, one intent will fire and directly database sample dot Java file will call. Okay, that is your this layout. And then if I'm clicking on add button, that is second save button. So all those I first have accessed the those edit text and I am copying the content of those edit text into a string. You can see this. Okay. And I have called this data manipulator to save that uh, values and after that I have used insert method to save those values into your database. And then I have created one dialog. One if I have stored one information, then again it will ask you to save another. So, if I want to save, then I will click yes. If I do not, then I will click no. And if I am clicking no, it will directly jump into your home page. Means this is your main XML file. Okay. And next is your check data. Here I am retrieving that data and I am displaying that data into this list. Okay. Again here you can see you have used data manipulator. So, we will run this program, we will see the output. You can see this there is a database sample that there are two button if I am clicking save button. So, it will call this edit text uh, sorry uh, your save dot xml in this we have to enter the name string name then I will enter my telephone number something like this. Okay. Then I am using Skype ID. So, something dot okay, and my address. I am writing anything here or for addressing myself. So, I will use IIT Bombay okay, and when I will click on save button, it will ask me one information. Information saved successfully means this information is saved add another data info. If you want to add another data, you can click yes. So, you can again get the same activity, you will be in the same activity. So, again you can delete this and you can enter another data. So, I can write here TCSC any and I am saving this again it will ask me I do not want to save next data. So, I will click no. So, it will directly jump onto your first main dot XML. So, to check those uh, data is saved or not we will go there to we will click this check data button. So, we will click on this check data. Now, you can see two data is displaying here from your database. Okay. Again, this is a, uh, if you want to uh, erase your this values date this data from your database, then you have to go to first find your application that is data sample. Database sample this database sample. This is your application. Hold this. Go here. App info. Okay, and click on the clear data. So, it will your, your data will be cleared from here. Okay. So, now first we will check our data from the data. How we can uh, see our database? We have to go to DDMS. Inside the DDMS, again you have to go to data, then data, 
see that uh, package of your application that is date, uh, com dot app database sample. Find that com dot app this is my package, this is my database. You can see there is my database db is created. Okay, if you want to see this, the value of those content from this database, you have to pull this into your desktop. So, again you can see that last time when I am pulling some files or uh, from here to the desktop, okay, so it is uh, showing me this fail to pull selection, because there are some we have to give some permission to pull that uh, information from device to desktop. But anyway, we, we got that whatever the value we have saved here, whatever the value we have saved in this database, we have displayed that value. Okay. If you want to clear your database, then you have to follow the clear your data. hold this app info, then clear your data. Okay. Go back to your application, open, check your data, there is no data, means you have cleared your data from your database. So, this is the way we can use storage options for on our uh, Android application. Thank you.